I'm spooked. Hey, bro, it smell like fresh pack of new ports in here, bro. Wait a minute. Hey, yo, yo, Shody. Yo, Shody. Shody. All right, y'all. So we dip it. It's the morning. Uh, we'll put y'all on the tip. X for extra lotion and extra toothpaste and keep it in your travel bag. But that'd be the best thing you ever did for your life. Hola, I mean, uh, gracias, but she's not Mexican or Hispanic. She's like Asian. I said gracias. You said gracias. Right, bro. Same, same thing to me, bro. <laughs> so I'm trying to put y'all a game. I tell them I'm on extra lotion. I put it in my backpack. Then I got lotion for wherever I travel. You got to do it with a good lotion because some lotion be drying out and stuff like that. But we dipping. I got to get back to LA. And I got to get back to work. I got music to finish. Uh, videos to film and we going up all this month so the rest of the month we got 15 days left I, I i would say i'm doing 30 days but i'm just doing it off of just grind mode at this point i'm not saying i'm going 30 days i'm just gonna do 30 days so i'm gonna go to dub room get him then we dip it what did he just say bro it's somebody that's living in there, bro. Right there. I don't know why Dub can't. We came over here, bro. We got us at this spooky spot, and they just had this thing that said, "You are trespassing. Get out." You see that camera? Look at that camera. And it's stripping about a mile away. Don't be a Derek and stay in the car and be scared. I'm spooked. My nigga been down bad, so bad, bro. This you trying to knock him from? <laughs> he trying to knock a, knock a, uh, a dope head, bro. He on some bulls. Weird. How y'all doing? Oh, you could gamble in here? Oh, man. Let me, let me give y'all some. I don't think y'all seeing this. Sheesh. Hey, bro, it smell like, it smell like a fresh pack of Newports in here, bro. <laughs> I need me some hot fries, bro. Just to thug. Where's some? Where's a small bag at? Right here. I should get a buzz ball just because, bro. But I ain't gonna do that. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't no alcoholic. No, I did. Dollar, bro. He lost it all. He got two cents left. Oh, he just uh, never give up, bro. Well, how much he win? Eight free game, free eight games. Why are we in here? Hey, get some of these, bro. Oh my life, bro. It's how you know you finna get a ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hey yo, yo, Shody, yo, Shody, Shody. Shody trying to. Show you trying to get that oh, shit to the huh. Hey y'all, do not book a Volio or whatever this air ride is called. We in the back of the back. Then we had to pay $65 to bring a bag, bro. I would've got on Spirit, I would've got on Spirit in Southwest. It is what it is, bro. I'm just, I'm just ready to get home at this point. At my lovely crib man um so I'm, I'm tired as hell but i'm still i'm hungry as hell because we still ain't ate we ain't ate nothing so right now what i'm gonna do 
So I'm gonna run over to Chick-fil-A because I heard Chick-fil-A got a new menu item. Some um, spicy chicken or some new chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna run over there in my car. We're gonna go pick it up, come back, rate it, have a conversation. I know I'm not the only one that this happens to or it feels dumb when this happens to them. So I get in my car and it's always the time that you like, you got a taste for it. Like you got a taste for, for Chick-fil-A. That it be on some bull, some bullshit. Cause I put my uh I put the address in on my phone. Closed. Closed. So oh my god, bro. I'm so heated. I'm so heated cuz I literally was watching TikToks of that new chicken sandwich and I'm like, "Damn, bro, I'm finna bang that bitch cuz I know it tastes good. Everybody was rating it tens and shit like that." So, um I guess I can't go to Chick-fil-A, and I'm not finna do, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm being transparent with y'all. This is all honest. I, I came home, and I was going to do a little food review for y'all, because I've been saying I was going to do a food review the last two videos. So, but I seen um, Chipotle added some steak over at Chipotle. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show y'all how I'll be ordering my Chipotle but I'm going to add in a new steak and I'm going to see how that tastes. But I really want to have a conversation with y'all too because I've been seeing y'all comments about like asking different certain questions. And um, yeah, I want to add it. I mean, I want to uh, have a conversation with it and just answer them and hopefully y'all get a better understanding of me and a cool little life update. Cool little quick life update, literally. it ain't. I, I didn't ask y'all no questions. I'm literally just going off y'all comments that I've been seeing. So... That's why you gotta drop a comment, cause I might respond to it in another video. So let's go over here to this pole. I'm tired than a mug. You can see it in my eyes. I'm tired. But let's go over here to Chipotle. Go order this food. Go back to the crib and chop it up with y'all. Hey, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 with y'all. Uh, after after I eat all this stuff, I'm really finna work on eating better this next, this whole week. I ain't finna be trying to eat bad. No more, bro. I'm really trying to eat better this whole week. Let me put y'all on this Chipotle. So they got the smoked brisket. Limited time. Man. Can I get two soft tacos with cheese? But can you melt the cheese? So, and y'all still got more brisket? Oh, bet. All right, cool, 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 cool. Soft shell, yep. And melt the cheese with it. That's what y'all gotta do when y'all come in and do it. Melt the cheese. You know what I'm saying on the South Tucker. Like a mini quesarito. Yeah, basically a mini quesarito. Yeah. You gotta put the people on type type. Yeah, my dog cooking me up too though. He's going crazy. You just fold it. Fold it in uh Yeah, I'm trying to see like so the cheese won't like fall to mostly one side. Nah, you good. I ain't, I ain't tripping off that. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little hot, a little hot for sure. They just stuck to That's you. melted. Ooh. That's how it's gonna look, y'all. Let's down melt the taco. See, I was gonna get a burrito, but I'm just, I'm just, let me just grab one of these tacos, man. The white shit, you dig? Okay, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Not a lot of rice. For the meat, I That's cool, that's cool, rice right now. Uh, the brisket. Brisket. The new bird. brisket. You had the brisket yet? No, well, matter of fact, can I do one brisket and give me one? What's that again? That's the steak. No, the one behind uh, it. Carnitas. Carnitas. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. One brisket, one carnitas. Just in case. Right, cool. Any fajitas or veggies? I mean, queso? Nope, nope. I'm straight on that. Let me get mild sauce. Uh, sour cream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Corn. Anything else after that? He going ballistic. I like that. And cheese. Cheese. And that'll be all right. That's it. Chip strings? Uh, nah, I'm straight. I'll just do these tacos. Right. Appreciate you, though, boss. Woo. Got my buzz now. Like I said, I was going to do, uh, I was going to do a burrito, but then... I don't know, I'm kind of full. Well, not full, but just like, I ain't, I ain't in a mood to be out of stuff right now, bro. So I got me a cool little taco. Uh, now we finna go back to the crib. I know this is like a chill, kind of calm vlog, man. This is a chill, calm vlog. Y'all gotta bear with me and, and, and kind of like, 
this chick called Blog Me. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, somebody ain't always hype 24 7 of the day. I can't even wave. I can't even think. I can't even sit and act like I'm hyped or hella like. You know what I'm saying? If I've been traveling or something, so bear with me. Understand that it is Sunday and I just got back from Vegas. So I am kind of beat. I, you know what I wanted to do when I was in Vegas? I wanted, I told Dub, I'm like, bro, we should have went to that restaurant where they be cussing you out. That would have been funny. That would have been a cool little bit. But everybody was all over the place. But right now I'm on my way back home. And then when I get back home, I'm going to set this up. Try to, uh, the new beef. See what, see what that beef talking about? No homo pause. And then we're going to answer some of y'all questions. We're just going to chop it up. All right, y'all. I decided to do it on the uh on my balcony because I feel like it's a it's a better view. But yeah, no head or with. I'm gonna just keep my hat on, bro, because I'm I'm literally chilling. I'm chilling. If y'all if if y'all are tired of my chilling fits, let me know, bro. I, I I'm just chilling. And you can't even see it. You can't even see it at all. Um, I don't even know which one is the the beef. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean the the brisket. As y'all know, I own a barbecue restaurant. Also, I did wash my hands when I got in the house and stuff like that. Don't, don't try to do me. Dang, bro, plug me a little too much. Damn, what you trying to eat? He was trying to get chose or something. No, hold on, let's see. Let's try this first. Damn. That's why. That's exactly why I did it out here. This mother, but I ain't gonna lie. You can't even see it. Mmm. Do I think you need to put barbecue on a taco? Fuck no. Hell no. Huh, let me go get a nap, y'all. Yeah, um, I feel like you probably don't need to put barbecue on no taco. That's like a five out of 10. So that, I, I, I don't need to keep eating it to understand the deeper meaning. But if y'all know Chipotle, my nephew put me on this, I ain't gonna lie. The vinaigrette and sour cream. He put me on. So if y'all go to Chipotle, get the vinaigrette and sour cream. Normally I get the chicken, but I'm gonna just get the cat. I, I get this the Kanye Asada one too, or whatever. Whatever they said, I get that too. It's like a little Chipotle sauce, you know what I'm saying? No pun intended. But I wanna um just have a conversation with y'all. Um just life update. I think a life update combo would probably be cool. Um, if it's if it's windy and the audio sound bad and I took out the wind, just bear with me. I'm getting a new mic. I'm gonna get a new mic soon. So y'all ain't gotta keep saying, go get a new mic, you need a new mic. I'm gonna get a new mic soon. But yeah, so just bear with me with this video. I, I see I see them comments too. But I wanted to say, I've been seeing comments of saying, what happened to Derek's girlfriend? So if you was if you if you've been on the if you've been rocking with the vlogs like three months prior or three months ago or four months ago then um yeah um you would have seen that i had a girlfriend and we was i had we had rings and all this quote unquote y'all thought i was married but i wasn't married but yeah that's the one i like right there no i'm dougie you know what i'm saying let me damn i forgot my napkins so if y'all remember i had a girl i ain't gonna say her name I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. And I had a girl on here and it was my girlfriend. I introduced, I think I did like two videos with her. I um private them. Cause I don't need y'all going back seeing and trying to find her and do all that weird stuff. But yeah, what happened to her is we broke up. We broke up probably three months ago. And who fault was it? Mine. I'm not ashamed by like I don't try to dodge the fact if I done wrong. I'm not gonna say the exact situation. But it was a situation where me and her, we took like a a week or two week break and uh just some stuff was going on. I felt on my side, I felt I had my reasons on what I did of reaching out, trying to, you feel me, somebody else. And um it came back. It came back later on. I, I completely cut ties with the person that I reached out to. And the person that I reached out to got mad that I cut ties with him because me and Kat was on like a two week I'm gonna put that out. Me and her, me and my ex was on like a two week break. So when we was on our two week break, I thought it was. I'm like, man, you ain't trying to give me no tent, blah, blah blah. So I reached out to somebody. I reached out to somebody, talked to somebody, and um, after me and my ex, we start talking. After the two weeks, me and her start talking again, and then um, 
the girl seeing the girl that I reached out to seeing that me seeing that I blocked her on everything and I just and I was fully into my you know into my relationship and she didn't like that so she got jealous so she reached out to my girl and was like she lied and said some other stuff oh da, da, da. she put extra on it lied to her and stuff and then some stuff was true some stuff was false but she put extra on it and then me and been me and my ex we've been <laughs> we've been messing around for like a minute now so like you know dudes mess up if you're a dude that's watching this understand out females know you mess up bro i think i think what females want from a dude i think what females want from a dude is just honesty out the gate which i try to give but i'm a person that i don't like to let somebody down like that i love like if i love you i'm not trying to bash you or talk crazy or not bash you but i ain't trying to hurt your feelings like if i know that i may have did something if a girl dm me and i probably dm back if i done done that i don't i'm not just gonna flat out tell you but like, this is how i used to think i ain't gonna flat out and just tell you just for the fact because it's not that big to me it ain't it ain't that deep it's no need for us to argue over it's no need for you to trip over it but I get the female side, like, man, don't leave me in the blind. So I get that. But I'm just a person, I don't like to break, I can't break your heart. Like, that, sh that shit fucks with me. Like, some dudes can be like, yeah, I did this. You gonna stay or leave? I feel like dudes that do that don't really mess with their girl or don't really love that person. Like, they like, yeah, I did this and I did that. And, yep, last night I did this. I feel like them the ones that don't love them. Cause I, 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 I just think in my head, bro, I'm older now, so say I'm older, but I, you know, I messed up a few months ago, but I'm a man. All men, bro, all men mess up. Now, how many times they mess up? I can't tell you that. I, I don't think it's a limit. I think it's just a point where it's just like, you know, men mess up. And I feel like some females, you got to just kind of understand that some men mess up. And if you a female right now, you in a relationship with a dude, I'm not telling you he's probably messing up or I hope he's not messing up, but understand if he messed up he's not messing up because he don't love you he messing up because sometimes his brain just tell him to do something different and he might not even fully 100 percent want to do it but it's just like men be men bro men be men and I, I and i can't i can't i can't i don't know i'm trying to justify it and i can't i don't know all my female subscribers are probably looking at me crazy just take the initiative don't look at me crazy. Just look at me as a person that's like, I'll wear my problems on my sleeve. And I'm telling you about it because I couldn't have told you about it. I could have kept it to myself. But I like being open with y'all. And I seen y'all was asking them questions. So I'm like, I'm going to be open. I'm going to tell them what happens. I'm going to tell them when I'm ready. But I'm going to tell them. So that's one of the questions I've been seeing. Other question I seen, they said, uh, why did I start off by saying baby mama in the title? With my, with my baby mom, why I didn't just put her name? That just was crazy. And the answer to that is, um, like I, like I've been saying, Nuni doesn't do, she don't do YouTube. She's not a real social media person. So I didn't want to just flat out charge her with everything. That's one reason. And for two reasons, it's like, it was just a, it was just supposed to be a cool little vid. But as I seen that y'all was messing with her, I seen that she liked it. I was just like, cool. I keep, I keep filming. And she told me that how, how comfortable she was with it or how comfortable she getting. And I guess some of y'all was already reaching out to her. So I'm just like, she don't put her name. I'm just gonna let y'all know her name. Give her y'all Instagram, do things like that. So that was the reason why at first the baby mama, I, I just was gonna baby mama, baby mama. Cause I could have put, well, at first, y'all needed to know who she was, so that's why, but I kept doing it for her privacy. But as I seen, she was, I hate living by an airport sometimes. As I seen, she was getting more and more comfortable with it. Then that's when I'm like, all right, let me introduce this. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? That was the reason for that. I seen some that says, why don't you just move? Baby mama LA. I think we already answered that but i did see somebody say like would you move back i don't think i'll move back 
I don't think I'll ever move back to uh I don't think I'll ever to move back to the Bay. Like I don't think y'all understand how boring it is out there. Like it's nut bro. Like I said, I think I said this. Like, bro, all my homies is literally they 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 got who they got. Like, you know what I'm saying? They 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 trying to start their family and I'm out here grinding. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to film it. But y'all don't understand, bro, how I was filming out there, trying to do stuff, bro. It was so hard, bro. It was so hard because like sometimes I don't want to do something by myself. Like, like today I chose to go get food by myself. I could have went to called Cinco or did something to like, hey, bro, ride with me. It would have been that easy. But all right, come on, let's go. But I just wanted to go by myself. I'm tired, bro. Just came back from a flight, so I didn't really want to do too much. But out there, bro, it'll be, I remember one time, bro, some dude catted on me, one of my homies catted on me for a video because they said, I, hey, bro, I just don't feel like it. I'm, wa I'm watching this TV. I'm watching this show right now. You watching this show, bro? I mean, some people don't understand the, how serious this this is to me right now. So I could I could kind of feel that, but at the same time, it's like, damn, bro, just come help, like help real quick. I'm finna pick you up. I'ma buy the food. I'ma you ain't gotta do nothing, but just like just rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I like to interact, show y'all my homies. I'm trying to introduce more of my 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 family and my people. Out in the bay more and more. Like I'm trying to get y'all know, you know, get to know them. Like my sister, she wanna be in, she wanna start being in the vlogs, which is cool. I wanna do that with her. She cooks hella good. So I wanna do something with her where I'm cooking like a gourmet dish or something like. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna just do no one off me and her just cooking some some regular. No, she really knows how to cook. So I really wanna do a cooking video with her and then like do that, like have that segment with her. Like we just cook gourmet meals, cause she really know how to cook. So I was gonna do that with her, but it's just other, it's just hella little shit. Like my brother, he got his clothing line. I'm trying to figure out ways that I could bring him in on doing stuff. I got, I, he be holding my camera for me sometime, but y'all see how he be, bro. He be laughing, Dad, don't paying attention. And just be like, all right, bro. But he learning, he learning. But then I got my nephew, he funny as hell. Like I want to bring him, but he just got, he got football stuff going on. And it's like, he, he is, he's still a teenager. So it's like, it's not, as much that he can do. So I try to get him into stuff like, get him in videos as much as I can, like where he's free versus like me trying to pull him out of something. Cause I don't want to pull him out. Like, oh, do my video, don't go to practice. Or do my video, don't go. Like, nah, I catch your mind when I catch your mind. So it's a lot of people I want to introduce to y'all. For real, for real, like dead ass. But I just understand like it's, you know, we, we going, we moving. I'm, I, I appreciate y'all for real of just like, Coming back, tapping in, leaving them comments. Y'all don't understand, bro. That really, that really do something to, you know what I'm saying? Like, that really be like, damn, they really mess with me type. Like, I don't care. At this point, I'm not even looking at views and things like that. I'm just doing this because I just, like, I'm like, bam. It's some people that want to probably watch me today or want to see a vlog. So I'm just throw, you know, put something together for them. It ain't, it ain't like, oh, I need to get 30,000 views or 20,000 views and then I'm going to feel good. Nah, bro. I just literally like upload at this point. It's fun. And I like reading y'all comments. Sometimes y'all be on some bullshit, but I still like reading y'all comments. I, I I still enjoy it. Oh. It was other stuff too, but can't really think of it off the top of my head. But that was one of the main ones of like, what happened to his girlfriend? Is, is he not with his girlfriend no more? It's like, no. I, mean, I feel like I did post her on the channel, so. It's only right for me to like let y'all know and give y'all an update so y'all can just stop guessing and stop thinking like, oh, he's doing this with his baby mama and he has a girlfriend? No. Mm -mm. But I think, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. God works in mysterious ways. Mysterious ways. I feel like my mom and my dad up there working and they trying to show me like, Keep your family strong, like keep them strong. Cause I ain't gonna lie, like it was me and me and my baby mama was beefing. Like we was literally beefing. Like if I was to call Nye, it, it'll literally be a situation like I'll call and she'll just have her have the phones in Nye's face. I'm like, all right, stick a butt, hang up. Wasn't talking. Y'all keep saying, y'all keep asking us about the Halloween situation. That's what really took the turn for us. All right, that's what really was like, oh yeah, no, like I ain't. No, hell no, like, I can't deal with you no more. And I'm gonna let her come on here and explain her side, and I'm gonna explain my side. I don't wanna just talk about the Halloween situation and then 
Y'all get my side and y'all get her side. Cause she got <clears throat> her reasons on why she did what she did. And I got my reasons on why I felt the way I felt about it. So I'm gonna let her come up on here and, and, and say that. So I am going back to the Bay in a few days. I'm gonna go back in a few days, but I'm finna grind out here. I got music to drop. I got music to make, project on the way. I'm finna, like, I, by the end of this year, I want I want to get close. I want to I wanna be close to my goals. I don't, I don't like to say my goals for real, for real, because I don't want to, like, throw dirt on them. But I got them in my head. I got them written down. I got goals that I'm trying to meet by the end of this year. So we grinding. I see y'all been messing with the music. So more studio vlogs. I even got a home studio. So even if y'all want, like, some at-home studio vlogs, I could do that. That's easy. Like set the camera up. It's just when I engineer myself, it just kind of be like my brain. Like you'll see when I'm recording by myself and I'm I'm just focused and locked in. I'll probably leave the camera on for probably hours and forget because I'll be so zoned in trying to figure out words and mixing all that. So I'll do that for y'all too though. I'm up because this week I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be in there a lot. We gonna figure out what we shooting tomorrow. What video we doing tomorrow? I'm raiding this Chipotle uh, brief brisket. A five out of ten. So if you go to Chipotle and y'all they tell you get the beef brisket, tell them to jump off a bridge and don't come back. <laughs>